so here is the bag o goodies i used the trader joe's bag to carry the um hobby lobby bag let me get you guys up here a little bit better okay so we'll go through the trader joe's goodies first these are those wool dryer balls that i was talking about both of my daughters uh, my oldest daughter suggested these and then uh, when i was out shopping with my youngest daughter today she said oh absolutely you have to try those so um, they came highly recommended for me with my sensitive skin issues let me go ahead and oops pull the tag off i haven't even looked at these since i've been home i will say i love this little bag and i'm looking at its construction <laughs> as a huh maybe i should try to make one of those all right and i think they were 5.99 maybe 6.99 um something was 6.99 it might have been this is there a price on here i don't know what i did with the receipt but anyway so here they are there you can tell there's four and there's like this little looped um twine that is gathered up around a canvas little canvas drawstring bag right here I'm trying to figure out how to oh here we go okay oh cool so they look like roving that has just been needle felted into a you know a big round ball and the instructions on the back say no chemicals or dyes have been used in the making of Trader Joe's wool dryer balls. Throw them all in your dryer and eliminate the use of dryer sheets and to help your load dry faster and help avoid reactions to artificial scents or chemicals. They are made of artisanal 100% New Zealand wool and they are hand felted in Nepal. Oh, I hope those people are paid. I don't know but the other issue is I know they're made they're handmade but they also help the environment by not adding chemicals and uh, paper and all that beeswax that you don't want added <laughs> into the environment. So I'm going to try these and hope that things go well. Alright, the next thing I bought was some um, Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner to hydrate and refresh. I like using products like this in the summer. I am, I have mature skin, we will say, and this is something that you have to think about when you reach the age I am that I'm not going to discuss. I'm just going to say I'm mature. I could be a grandma. And it is good to keep your skin hydrated. And weirdly, I don't have issues with rose water. They had a watermelon facial toner and I was so, so tempted to try it, but I just said no. So what I do is I shake it. I, you probably don't have to shake it. And then I, it says to mist it onto your face. But because I have such dry skin, I just missed it. This is the boo-boo that I had. And, oh, you guys, it smells so good. But when you have horribly dry skin that won't leave you alone, I mean, it's just constantly aggravated. Um, it's really good for your face. It's good for your hands. It's, good. it's just good for your arms. Wherever you might feel like you have some dry skin, you know, follow the directions and uh, read the, in the ingredients. It does have uh, flower oil, uh, witch hazel, you know, glycerin. Apparently I'm not allergic to glycerin and water and a bunch of other little thingamabobs in there. It is distributed and sold exclusively by Trader Joe's. I don't know if it's made in the U.S., but I do know that it says no animal testing. So there's that. 
and the last thing is the Trader Joe's Supreme Hydrating Eye Cream. Uh, plant extracts, collagen, and CoQ10. Again, this does not bother my skin. I've used several of the Trader Joe's products that literally, I, it's almost like I'm not wearing anything. So I'm not trying to push these on anyone. I'm just letting you know this is what I got. And if you have wondered about Trader Joe's, like is it gentle, does it cause skin rash, or any of those, no, I have not had any problems. So those are my favorite items. These two things are my favorite items. And if I can't get this at Trader Joe's, there is an Amazon link where you, know, you could potentially maybe find it. Again, no affiliation, non-sponsored, I'm not paid by Trader Joe's or Amazon or anybody for any reason whatsoever. I'm just telling you these are the things. This I'm going to try for the first time and these I have tried and love. Okay, that's all I got except for some blood orange carbonated water beverage that was so good. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, this is what I got at... Does it say on here that it's, yeah, at Hobby Lobby, right here. So, this is going to be the Girl Dolls hair, and I will do a video on what, how I plan to do this, but let me tell you, it is your basic, basic yarn. I don't know if it has like a name. Oh, right there. Oh, guys. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, so acrylic. 100% acrylic yarn. And it is kind of recommended. So what you do is you will use your cardboard uh, pattern pieces for the size. But you use a dog brush. One of those flea brushes that's got really packed together little needle teeth kind of things and you brush this yarn out to a I don't know how to describe it anyway it just kind of pulls it apart and I've watched I don't know how many videos where the real professional doll makers just use this yarn and I mean I can feel that it is in this state it's it's weird how it just feels so soft and like real mohair even though it has literally no mohair in it and it goes from you know looking like this which I don't want to a little bit softer look and even softer than this the end result is just precious so um, the pattern shows their hair her hair in particular is just your basic yarn. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Okay, there we go. So, I mean, you can see her hair is quite yarn-like. And even his hair, I think, might have been brushed out to this consistency a little bit. But the more you brush this, the more uh, hair-like it begins to look. It's just weird to me. I've, been, I've watched so many videos of that so okay so I got that and the color is toasted almond I wanted her hair to be kind of a light brown and I don't know yet what color I will do the little boy's hair but I mean you know me I can't walk out of that place without buying some fabric so I found this oh my goodness so the fabrics that were used to make this jelly roll are the fabrics that were used to create this. There are five pieces of fabric, fat quarter bundle, I think. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and open this so that we can look at these fabrics because that's what's in here. 
Let me get this. I just, I can't even explain why I fell in love with it. I mean, my daughter saw it, but I had seen it. I was kind of like the magnetic pull toward this. And then she said, oh, look, and it was all over. I was like, yeah, I know. I know, I know. I'm, it's ridiculous. Oh, my good gravy. Is this not just, look at this. That is the sweetest little thing. Okay, and then as a coordinating, I love this. The teal, I think it always speaks to me. It's just, you know me, it's my like my color. So it's a little bit lighter version of a teal, but how sweet. And because I usually coordinate my teal with red, I think it's only fitting that this lighter version has sort of a peachy orange um, accompanying color, coordinating color. Look at these little gray mushrooms. It's like a little rainstorm in the Pacific Northwest with a whole bunch of little mushrooms. And these might be water drops. I don't know. But that's what they look like, isn't it? How sweet. Sorry, Bama's having to come apart. And then this. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I hope that that teal is showing up. It's like a little watercolor fox and trees. Oh my. So let's see what does this look like. Oh, with this. Oh my stars. That is so cute. Wow. Okay, so I have uh, my, my mind is just twirling over the ideas because with the I think it's 20 um, is it 20 pieces yeah so there's 20 pieces of two and a half by probably the length of the fabric which I would say I mean I wish they wouldn't cover this information up it's hard to give you the most accurate information about these products when the information is covered up by an ugly old you know sticker okay so it's 20 two and a half inches by 42 inches long so each one of those and there are 20 and I mean I swear when you go in there it's like how can you resist so this one was $12.99 and they never ever ever use a coupon for this the only reason I'm telling you that is because it was explained to me by a very angry employee last year I, and I didn't know but apparently it just triggered something in her when I produced my coupon and she well she laid into me about this and then I grabbed some gum I was very nice I was like oh okay that's fine that's fine um, and I put some gum down on the you know the conveyor belt the thing that moves when you're putting your stuff down and she went I'm not going to mock her. I'm just going to say she informed me very loudly that I wouldn't be able to use the coupon on the gum either. And I said, that's okay. I don't mind. I just would like some gum in my purchases so that I can quickly exit. <laughs> One out of here. But anyway, if you would like to uh, see if you can find these, it was the Hobby Lobby in L L L L L Linwood, 